Hello everyone, it's me Bun Bun, and today I will be going over the history of Chuck E. Cheese in La Mesa, California. I would like to preface this video by saying that although La Mesa's locations are not in the same city, they will still be included in the history video. This store is quite questionable. It is very weirdly shaped and also the very last Chuck E. Cheese pizza in the world. Anyways, let's get into the video. The El Cajon Pizza Time Theater opened in May of 1982 on 310 Fletcher Parkway in a former Kmart food space. They would open with a balcony stage. Unfortunately, I could not find any photos of this location. Of course, they would eventually receive an updated 1986 remodel, which would add blue and white awnings, replace older decor, add the checkers, and possibly remodel the exterior. They would also receive a new show, which would be a C stage. This store would close sometime in 1993. It is theorized that La Mesa is a relocation of this store due to opening the same year as its closer as well as only being 5 miles away from the building. There is a photo from before demolition where you can see the entire building including the Kmart it was attached to. The La Mesa Chuck E. Cheese location would open on August 2nd, 1993 with a one stage and artwork mostly found in Operation Thumbchuck. This means they would receive the record posters, artifact shelves, postcards, and other pieces of that era, as well as a Chuck E. Cheese's pizza exterior. They would eventually replace the signage on the exterior for the Coach Chuck sign. Footage from May 1995 shows the showroom. You can see the one stage's condition two years after opening. Chuck is of course wearing his full tuxedo outfit. Judging by this footage, they seem to be in great condition, although Pasquale doesn't seem to be moving very much. You can also see one of the shelves on the diagonal wall, but I can't really see what theme it is. Everything in the footage seems pretty standard. I don't really see anything standing out much. There's a photo of La Mesa's Chuck in his tux outfit again, but his mouth is hanging a bit open. Maybe the condition was a little bit worse by this time. There's also a photo of La Mesa's Munch and Jasper, as well as a small bit of Helen. They seem to be in the same shape. Some footage of La Mesa in 2006 shows their Avenger outfit. There's also nothing too major in this footage either. You can also see some of the stage. Chuck seems to be wearing his cool Chuck outfit. They still seem to be in good condition in this footage. The slideshow from November of 2008 shows lots of La Mesa. You can see a photo of the stage, albeit in horrible quality. You can also see that Pasquale's drum front would be switched out for the one with the explosion. There's also two more photos of the stage close up. The photos seem to be in better quality. The stage looks the exact same in these photos. There's also lots of art visible in the photos. You can see Mount Chuck Moore, lots of the record posters, and even some of the artifact shelves. The footage also shows La Mesa's 1991 confetti posters, but you can only see Munch, Jasper, and Helen. A video from August of 2008 shows the game room and La Mesa's showroom. The first video does not show much, but you can see the 1991 Italy postcard. The second video shows the artifact shelves, artwork, and Avenger Chuck performing. The bots seem to be in okay condition in the video, but they do seem a little bit worse than last time. Here are two more photos of Jasper and Munch in April of 2009. Here's a close-up of Chuck in March of 2010. You can see he's still wearing his full cool Chuck attire. Here's also a photo of the exterior in April of 2010. Here's a photo of the Wild West shelf with the corresponding postcard underneath. A few photos of the showroom in December of 2011 show the stage, which seems to be in decent condition. You can also see that they decorated the stage. It looks pretty nice in my opinion. The entire story would remain the same for the rest of the 2010s. A stage photo from August 2012 shows that Chuck had received his Avenger outfit. They would remove his cap sometime between here and 2015. La Mesa would remove the exterior signage next to the doors around this time as well. The 1991 confetti posters would also be replaced for the 1999 headshots. Two photos from December 2015 show the sky tubes. The Chuck Cyberamic would also receive the Rockstar outfit. Pictures from January of 2020 show that lots of La Mesa's art would be replaced by that of the Cool Chuck remodel. There's also a great shot of the exterior in December of 2020. The exterior sign would blow away in 2022, which would prompt it to be replaced by a new one with a black outline. It would also be announced that the plaza would be redeveloped in the future, leaving La Mesa to close sometime in the next decade. The store still remains the same, but the show condition is absolutely horrid. 
Michelle's programming would also be swapped, with Jasper doing Munch's movements and Munch doing Pasquale's movements, and Pasquale being completely aired down. The Santee location opened on 275 Town Center Parkway as a 2.0 remodeled location. It opened on September 18th, 2023. There isn't much to go over as it's only been open for almost a year now, but they did have their grand reopening on October 12th. Overall, this store is quite interesting to go over, having three relocations, being the last Chuck E. Cheese pizza, and also being the oldest one stage is what made me want to go over this location. Also thanks to Cyberstar Chuck for requesting this. Please subscribe as I'm almost at a thousand.